What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with a little bit of news surrounding the next event coming to Destiny 2. Now I apologise about the lack of D2 news videos at the minute. I mean even D2 news is as dry as a camel's arse. Uh, okay so we know about the next event for D2 and it comes next week and it is Crimson Days. Here is what's recently been dropped by Bungie. Crimson Days begins in Destiny 2 on Tuesday, February 13th. At the heart of a week-long event is a 2v2 Crucible playlist intended to get your blood pumping as you and a friend test your bonds to the breaking point. The celebration of teamwork will last one week. The combat scenario is 2v2 Clash with a RAM-based twist. We will also be debuting the Burnout, a new take on the Burning Shrine set in a future timeline where the Vex have succeeded in altering our reality. The sun is darkened and the only light to be found comes from you and your partner fighting as one. Stay in close proximity to your partner and your abilities recharge at a faster rate, straight too far and your enemies will be given a waypoint leading to your location. If you can't find a partner don't worry, we will play matchmaker and find one for you. The rewards. The best way to earn rewards during Crimson Days is to compete in the Crimson Days Crucible playlist and we've tuned the experience to focus on rewarding single character play. Most rewards are found within a new Crimson Engram with all contents on a knockout list preventing you from receiving duplicate items until you've earned all of the new gear. No matter which activity you play in Destiny 2 during Crimson Days, every player will receive both an Illuminated Engram and a Crimson Engram when they level up. Crimson Engrams are only earnable through gameplay and are not capped or limited during the event. To qualify you need only to reach the level cap for your Guardian, that's 25 if you've acquired Expansion 1, 20 if you haven't. There are also 5 new rewards found exclusively for players who complete the following. Complete the Milestone, welcome to Crimson Days by finishing 5 Crimson Days matches and visiting Lord Shacks in the tower to earn the Fire of the Crimson Days emblem and their ghost shell. Complete matches in the Crimson Days Crucible playlist for a chance to earn the Undeterred Exotic Sparrow. Complete either the Leviathan Raid or the Raid Layer, Eater of Worlds, to claim the Diesel Punk Exotic Ornament for the Warcliffe Coil from the final chest. Complete the Nightfall Strike during the Crimson Days event to earn the Flaunting Dance Emote. Crimson Engrams will only be earnable through gameplay, but if you are looking to directly purchase a specific item, Tess will offer a selection of Crimson Engram contents in exchange for Bright Dust you are holding. Gear purchased with Bright Dust will also count towards the knockout list mechanic described above, preventing duplicate items unless you have already earned all the rewards. Every reward item obtained from a Crimson Engram can also be dismantled for Bright Dust, including event specific shaders. Crimson Days will begin next Tuesday, February 13th, and conclude on the weekly reset at 9am PST on Tuesday, February 20th. If you are yet to find a dance partner, now is the time. We'll see you in the arena. So, there you have it, people. And I actually love the idea of this new matchmaking system they are having in place and this new mechanic sort of thing for this 2v2 clash. Should be fun for sure. The rewards are to be honest okay at best. I don't mind the idea of the engrams either as long as many can be earned. Judging by the promises Bungie have been making of recent I'm pretty sure this will be the case. Also it states these engrams are only available through gameplay so I'm guessing you won't be able to buy them from Eververse even if you wanted which is actually a real shocker to me. Isn't this a system that we all wanted? I think it might have been. Now me personally I ain't a massive fan of PvP as you guys all know but all in all it seems like it might be a little fun and I'll definitely try it out. Also, I do want to see that new map, well, the reskin map. Sounds great and I was always a fan of the original Burning Shrine, so that should be good also. I also like the idea as well, there's PvE activities you can do for certain exclusive rewards, i.e. the raid, the nightfall and so forth, so that's pretty good. But guys, that's basically it. Crimson Doubles arrives next week, February 13th. Find a partner and get down with it. And on that note, guys, I am out. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, it really does help me out. Thanks as always for stopping by. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.